Good morning my dear children welcome to today's virtual session of 8th standard civics let us begin today's session with a quote never lose hope in life you never know what tomorrow may bring children this great and simple quote on the hope which tells us the importance of keeping alive hopes in life it is common for people to become disheartened by thinking about the negative outcomes in the future however no one knows exactly what the future will bring to us in the coming days so we should never feel sad or lose hope children in my last virtual session like yesterday i continued the topic functions of parliament before that i told you about the indian parliament that the constitution of india has created the parliament of india the legislature at the national level that is the level of the central government it is called the parliament then i told you that the parliament consists of the president and the two houses one is lok sabha and the next one is rajya sabha about lok sabha and rajya sabha you came to know in detail then i have discussed about the functions of parliament there are three functions one is formulation of laws second one is control over council of ministers and the third one is amendments to the constitution these are all the functions of parliament then i told you about the speaker of lok sabha and the chairman of rajya sabha today i would like to continue the topic how does the parliament make laws so children today we will come to know how does the parliament make laws it is very necessary children to open your history civics textbook and listen to the video carefully how does the parliament make laws in our country the parliament is empowered to make laws to formulate them a certain system has been adopted this system is known as the law making process a rough draft of the law is prepared initially this draft or outline is known as draft proposal of the law or the bill of law there are two types of bills that are primarily introduced in house of the parliament money bill and ordinary bill in order to be converted into an act the bill undergoes following process so children the parliament is empowered to make laws but to formulate them a certain system has been adopted a rough draft of the law is prepared initially and then 
this draft or outline is known as the draft proposal of the law or bill of law in order to be converted into an act the bill is sorry the bill undergoes following process first reading the minister of the concerned department or ministry or member of the parliament presents the bill and briefly explains its nature while presenting it this is called as first reading then the second reading there are two stages of second reading in the first stage the objectives of the proposed bill are discussed and members in the house express their opinions on it the supporters of the bill give favorable opinions while the opponents discuss the defects and the faults in the bill after the discussion within the house as part the requirement the bill is sent to a committee of the house the committee report consisting of instructions and recommendations is such is sent to the house in order to make the bill flawless now the second phase of the second reading begins in this phase the bill is discussed clause by clause members can suggest changes after this voting is taken in the house third reading the bill is discussed briefly again during the third reading voting is taken for approving the bill if the bill gets an assent by the required majority then the bill is considered as passed by the house the bill undergoes the same procedure even in the other house after getting an approval by both the houses the bill is further sent for assent by the president if there occurs a difference of opinion between lok sabha and rajya sabha over a specific bill the future of this bill is decided in a joint meeting of both the houses after the final assent and signature of the president the bill is converted into the law and the law is made so children here you have come to know that how a bill is converted into law the first reading the second reading and the third reading all are essential to convert a bill into a law so children in this topic the indian parliament you came to know the first point what is parliament the next one that is the composition of uh, parliament the president the two houses lok sabha and rajya sabha then i discussed about lok sabha and rajya sabha in detail Lok Sabha is the lower and the first house of the Parliament of India. Rajya Sabha the upper and the second house of Parliament in the Rajya Sabha. Then I told you about the functions of Parliament that is formulation of laws, control over Council of Ministers. 
and amendments to the constitution all these are the functions of parliament then i told you the speaker of lok sabha and the chairman of rajya sabha today i have continued the topic how does the parliament make laws that in our country the parliament is empowered to make laws to formulate them a certain system has been adopted this system is known as law making process a rough draft of the law is prepared initially the this draft or outline is known as draft proposal of the law or bill of law then in order to be converted into an act or law the bill undergoes following process the first reading the second reading and the third reading and after having the final assent and signature of the president the bill is converted into the law and the law is made so children in this topic it is very important because so many points are there which 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 are very important for you so it is very necessary to go through your textbook you should read the topic in detail and also you can listen to the video carefully if you read your textbook and listen to the video carefully i think there will not be problem for you so children you have to read your textbook in my next virtual session i will give you the pdf of the exercise of this topic before that you should read your textbook each and every point which are discussed in the video you should listen to those points carefully if you listen to the video carefully and you read the textbook then it will be not a problem for you to understand the topic thank you have a nice day stay safe stay healthy